Hello everyone, today's video will be consisting of loot routes for solo tournaments. These places are going to be really low-key. Minimal to no people will come here. If you do go on to enjoy the video, please leave a like. We're here at the first solo loot route of the video. We, this one is in between Sweaty Sands and Holly Hedges. I can show you on the map real quick. This is the house you want to drop at. First, there's going to be a, a chest right in this ha uh, in the roof, uh, right in this corner. Then you're going to want to break through the ground, get some metal real quick from this car, get this ammo crate over here. There's usually a loot spawn right here. Then you want to go over to this room. There's another chest. Then I suggest getting outside and going to this this hill which gives you full mats all these dead trees get you full mats you're gonna want to grab the chest make your way down here get the metal fish up the spots there's usually two to three spots right there and there's another chest in here right there then you can hop through this tell uh, this port potty which brings you all the way over here that might might be guarded by henchmen, just so you know, so that might not be a good idea. You, or you can run over here, there's a telephone booth right here. Disguise yourself. There's there's two chests. Three chests total total in this house. There's one henchman and two normal chests. I would go in from this wall, break that chest, kill the henchman, and bring one to the scanner, unless you got the telephone booth. Uh, then you wanna go up here. And then under this roof, there's a there's a last chest of this house, this loot route. And uh, this is this might be might be people going here because everyone wants a heavy sniper or minigun because both henchmen are here, minigun and sniper. Um, and yeah, that's uh, and there's two ammo crates right here. I forgot about that. Sometimes one. And if you fish up spots, you're you're fine with floppers and everything. And uh, that's the uh, first lure out. On to the second lure out, there's a house located in between Sweaty Sands and Holly Hedges again. At the almost at the edge of the map. Right here is this little house. And there's a total of two chests no three chests. Two normal and uh, one henchman. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come through this doorway, front doorway. And run over here, there's a chest hiding right there. And you're gonna wanna run down here, hop down the stairs. And there's a henchman chest and a normal chest in here. After that, you're gonna wanna um, run outside. I'm sorry, there's four chests in total. You're gonna wanna run outside, break or build up to this chest on top of the crane. Then after this, you're gonna wanna make your way down here. There's, there's pallets down here, which will give you close enough to full mats. You could either fish, if there are fishing spots, there's normally not a lot of them, if any. Then, uh, if you didn't don't have shields uh, at this point, or you want to save, you could either go down here, to the fish more spots, get some more loot, or there is, there is a sword trap right here, which gets you full shield, obviously. And you can make your way all the way over here if you want. But that is the loot route that you want. This house and those containers and that sort of truck. Alright, I'm out here the third loot route, which is located in between Holly Hedges and the Rig. Also known as the Rainbow Houses. There are a total of five chests here in the loot route. Uh, first what you want to do, you're going to want to start from this side actually. Go down, grab this chest on the car, break the car if you need metal, which you obviously do because you just landed. Run to this house, grab the ammo crates, one right here. Um, run down, grab the ammo crate in here and the chest. There's actually just no ammo crate in here. Chest on the there. You want to go down to the chest under here, under the green building. I think there's an ammo crate in here, yeah, right there. You want to run around, grab this ammo crate. Break the brick, get a fishing pole, there's usually 
two to three fishing spots here. After that, you're gonna want to make your way over to um, this chest over here, which is after you grab this, hit all the get all the, uh, the stones over here because that will give you a lot. You're gonna want to run all the way over here, run this chest right here, and that's it for this loot route. If you didn't know, this was in the uh, Season 1, Chapter 2, Season 1, this was the Ego Outpost. I used to land here a lot until they uh, they removed the Ego Outpost. But still good landing drop. I would recommend it. There we go. That's the third landing spot. On to the fourth loot route. Right south of Misty Meadows, there is the Ski Lodge up here, which is great for solos. Uh, if you're low, you're going to want to drop on this chest right by campfire. If you're high and there's people on you, I would recommend go going right on this part of the roof right here, which has a chest right here. There's a total of five chests here. You're going to want to go grab that, go down here. There's a chest over here. You're going to want to go down the stairs right here, go in the door. Run past the kitchen, and there's a chest right here. If you go back all around through the door, through here, in the showers, there is another chest. And for that one, that is it. Unless you get circle, you could go down here, which takes a long journey. Grab the zip line. There is a house right here, a little lodge. There is one chest right here I believe and then you go down here go down here grab this ammo crate and if you have time fish here this is really good there's a lot of fishing spots here usually and there's a little container over here that, ha that has one chest if you have time because if you don't have storm that you shouldn't be doing this one chest behind this and one ammo crate right there and with that, that's the fourth landing spot for solos. The last and final sol solo loot route is going to be south of Retail Row. It's a slow campsite over here. You're going to want to start off by coming to the snow cone truck, grabbing this chest. You're going to want to climb down the mountain to uh, this chest right on here. Oh, and grab the ammo crates in the little huts over here. You're going to want to come over here. There is a chest in here. There's a chest right in here, so break that, get that. You want to slide down the mountain. And grab this chest. Oh, this this route is consistent of, uh, this consists of five chests in total. There's another one right through here. It's a little, it's concealed off right there, you see. Grab, grab this ammo crate, go through here. And that is it for this loot route, unless you want to be ambitious and come over here and get me skulls. I'm guessing people will land on here if it's like a tournament or something, but if it's just like pubs, I'm guessing that they won't, they won't land here. There is chest right here, ammo crate, another chest right up here, me skulls will spawn right on these stairs or over here maybe. If Another alternative for this, if you do get zone, you would want to come down here and come down to this uh, this little cabin over here. If zone gets to you, though, if don't if don't come here if if you don't get zone, you're gonna want to grab this chest, and I believe that's it. Thank you guys again for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like.